Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to actually reduce your input delay in games in 2021. I'm just going to show you overall how to actually reduce your input delay on mouse and keyboard and controller, so don't be worried, I got you both covered. And I just want to mention this real quick, guys, please make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm super, super active there, announcing streams and all the good stuff, boys. And I'm actually also following a ton of you guys back on Twitter, so therefore, please make sure to check the link out in the description as well. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So yeah guys, and in the first place, what I want you to do is click on the first link in the description where you can find my Discord guys, where we have over 30,000 active members as well, which can help you literally 24-7. And there you can get this latest latency pack here on my Discord, just simply download it and drag it onto your desktop. And then afterwards, just simply open it up here and you can already see that we got mouse and keyboard latency, mem reduct, GPU power management and controller latency. And as you can see, I already split it here into mouse and keyboard and controller as well. So I got you all covered, don't even worry. And we first of all gonna take a look at mouse and keyboard latency. And here in this folder, guys, we already got a full on registry tweak for our keyboard. So we're just simply gonna double click onto it and press here onto yes to actually change it here. It's just gonna tell you that the values are gonna get changed. But since I already did it, I'm gonna press here no, obviously, guys. And then we're also gonna move over to mouse and then we get the same here. Those are just like mouse and keyboard tweaks for the lowest amounts of latency, which are already fully optimized here for Windows 10 and 11. So don't be worried guys, it works for literally both of them. And here again guys, we're just gonna click onto it and press yes, but I'm gonna click here no, because I already applied it and it would just double up, you know, and I don't wanna mess around too much here with my windows. And then next up you can see guys that we got filter keys in here and settings. And first of all, what I want you to do is click onto settings. And there you can see now a screenshot of my filter key settings, which are the best in my opinion. We have ignore under on zero milliseconds, repeat delay on 150 milliseconds, and repeat rate on 25. And on the right side, we only have on and available on. So what we want to do is click onto filter keys actually on the exit and let it run in the background and now we can just link simply like straight up copy all the values in here which would be 0 150 and 25 and here on the right side we're just going to deactivate those four here and set the check here onto on as well and now we're just going to click onto apply and everything is applied correctly guys just simply let filter keys run in the background this is better than timer set resolution at 100 percent so therefore yeah just let it run while launching actually fortnite in the background and we're already done here for, with the first folder which is for mouse and keyboard latency so yeah guys Guys, and next up we're gonna take a look at GPU power management and then we have a few simple tweaks in here just to make sure that you get the least amount of latency and especially since your GPU is the most important factor when it comes down to how long it takes before a frame gets fully rendered in Fortnite and then gets displayed on your monitor I got a few simple tweaks here just to make sure that your GPU is running at 100% so please again click onto this here and press simply yes here I already did both of them so I'm just gonna press here no but yeah all you guys have to do is just simply open it up here press yes and both of these should be applied 100% and with that said, we're already done here with this step and we're gonna close it. And yeah guys, now we're gonna take a look at the controller latency file here. So we're just gonna simply open it up. And as you can see in there, we have USB pulling rate. So we're just gonna click onto it, go into driver and go into setup. And what this program pretty much does is we can change the amount of hertz our devices have. And a thousand hertz pulling rate is obviously better than 500 or 250. So therefore what we're gonna do is go here onto this top menu under devices and click onto all. And then we can already see here my Xbox gaming device. This is my normal Xbox controller, which is right now plugged into my PC. And what we wanna do is select our controller guys and go here actually on the pulling rate and we're gonna put it to a thousand and go into install servers. And as you can see, like a small window just opened up real quick and it should be now installed and it should be set. And now what you wanna do is click onto restart guys and just make sure that your controller is actually set to 1000 megahertz rate. But as you can see, my controller was already set to a thousand hertz pulling rate. So therefore nothing to change here obviously. But yeah, if you got like a new controller or your current controller, you know, and you just wanna make sure that it's running on a 1000 hertz pulling rate, which is obviously the best one for the least amount of latency. Just make sure to go here onto 1000, you know, in this drop down menu, go into install service and then later press restart. And then your controller should be set to 1000 hertz pulling rate. And once you're done with that, you're just simply gonna close this program and we're done here as well. And then we're just gonna take a look at timer set resolution. I know I said that filter keys is better than timer set resolution, but sadly filter keys only works for keyboards. So therefore you gotta use timer set resolution for your controller. And once we open it up here guys, just simply drag it probably, which would be like the best one on your desktop. So you don't delete it accidentally. And yeah, once we launch actually timer set resolution, we're just gonna click it onto maximum. And if you guys have the same issue as me right now that it says 0 0.499, this means that your timer set resolution is not working 100%. So what you wanna do is open up the file again here. And in there we have a text document which is called timer resolution comments. And we're just simply gonna open it up and then go into our window search bar and type in CMD until we find the comment prompt, right click onto it and run it actually as an administrator. And what you wanna do now guys is actually copy both of these comments here one by one into the CMD 
D, press enter and then copy the second one, press enter as well. And now we successfully applied all the changes. We're gonna close this. And now as we launch timer set resolution and actually press onto maximum, you can see that it's set now to 0 0.500. So it's working 100% correctly now. And we're just gonna minimize it while playing Fortnite in the background and it's gonna reduce your latency even more on controller. And for the final step guys, we're gonna take a look at memory duct. And I already reviewed this program and it's really good in my opinion, because all you guys have to do is just simply go through the installation process here real quick. I'm just gonna go through everything, install it obviously here on our PC and once we launched memory duct guys we can see exactly how much physical and virtual memory we have right now here on our PC and as you guys can see I currently have 16 gigs of RAM in my PC because I just lately did a benchmark like usually I'm running 32 but I reduced it here to 16 and you can see that 41% are getting used right now this means that we have only 9.29 um, gigabyte rest available and what's so bad about this is that your RAM standby list is also gonna get filled up with literally temporary files and once this reaches to 100% you're gonna lose FPS and get huge insane FPS drops so therefore what we're gonna do is click onto file and onto settings and now we can go here onto memory cleaning and you can already see that we can type in here a certain percentage. Let's just say memory management clean when above in percentage 90% and this is probably the best one. If your RAM standby list goes above 90% this program is just gonna clean your RAM and therefore gonna speed up your PC and actually give you less latency in games guys. So therefore just simply put it on clean when above 90% or you can also put in a certain time let's just say you want to clean it every 30 minutes which is probably too much in my opinion guys because yeah you can definitely play at least like an hour without like having to worry about it and what's so cool about this program is that you just have to type in a percentage you don't have to do the math for yourself and calculate so therefore just simply put it on like 90% and then you can close it and let it simply run in the background and enjoy having less latency over the time when playing longer and as a quick extra tip guys I just want to give you here real quick is actually if you have multiple devices plugged into a PC let's just say you have like multiple monitors on your PC like a lot of people actually like have two or three monitors try to unplug everything which is unnecessary if you have two keyboards plugged into a PC and the one just like for the looks you know it looks cool RGB it's fancy I get it but please maybe try to actually like disable it from your PC while playing because all these extra devices guys they actually put on a huge workload on your PC and actually increase your latency in games so therefore if you actually want to have the least amount of latency in games please make sure to disable all the unnecessary devices from your PC it only takes a few seconds and it actually makes such a huge difference and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section as well i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace